All right. This is a what? Mixed number or improper fraction? A mixed number. Mixed number. Mixed number. Mixed number. So do we need what? Number one, 67 divided by 25. I know. I'm going through the different ones to give you guys examples because oh. what I thought you all clearly understood, what a difference between a mixed number and improper fraction was, we did not understand. Mixed number or improper fraction? Mixed number. Do we need to change it further then? No. no. Mixed number or improper fraction? Do we need to change it further then? No. Mixed number or improper fraction? Do we need to change it further then? Yes. So 67, we have to do the long division. 67 divided by 25. 25 goes into 67. How many times? Twice. Twice, because three times it would become what? It would become 70. Yes, not 70, 70, 75. 2 times 25 is? What's 2 times 25? 50. Yeah. 50 is And we have how much left over? 77. So then we, what do we do with the 17? I'm going to add 25 to the bottom. And 25 on the bottom. So we have 2 and 17 over 25. We have to multiply by a fraction to get it over 10 or 100. Can we do 25 times something to get 10? No, we can't. Can we do 25 times something to get 100? Which number? Five. No, four. Four is on the bottom. It needs to be on the top. What's 17 times four? Do you know off the top of your head? No. Me either. So I got to do 17 times four. Seven times four is? 28. Four times one is? Four. Plus two? Six. So I get 68 over 100, so then my decimal is 2 and? Uh, 220, 60, 68, 68, 68, 68 what? 100. 68 hundred. What about here? This 12 fifths is supposed to be gone. Let's go with blue now. Is it going to draw big again? I don't want that. 3 fifths. Let's look back to here. We already have this. We don't need to do any of this stuff. We don't need to do any of this stuff over here. So 17 over 25. We just have to say, hey, what do we multiply by so that we're going to get this over? Can we get 5 times something is 10? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 2. 3. 2. two. 3 times 2 is? 6. Sorry, this is supposed to stay equal. So now we have 3 and 6 over 10, which is the same thing as 3 and... Six tenths. Six over ten. Six tenths. Remember, if you have zero point zero, these are tenths, and these are hundredths. So if you have six over ten, you put six in the tenth spot. If it, even if it was. 6.0, it would be 60 hundredths. You would put 60 in there, so it reads 60, but it's hundredths. Now, those are the same thing. It doesn't matter if you have 6 tenths or 60 hundredths. But, yeah, 6 tenths is a way, so worth the same thing as 60 hundredths. All right, last one, 5 and 7 twentieths. You guys need to be it separated. It has to go to 100, and it would be 10 plus 5. Got to multiply by something to get a hundred on the bottom. Times five. Twenty times five over five. Five over five. Seven times five is thirty-five. So now we have five and thirty-five hundredths, which equals five. Five thirty-five hundredths. Thirty-five hundredths. Questions on this. All right, we're gonna do the last last guy to practice together. Mr. Jones has a bolt of cloth. A bolt of cloth? What a weird name for a uh, a piece of cloth. I think it's because that um, it's when they put uh, pieces of cloth on these big rods, and then it looks kind of like a bolt. What? A bolt is something. A bolt is something that you put in between something to hold it together. So this right here is a bolt because you put it into the desk and it holds the desk together. So a bolt is something you like you screw in, into something. You might put a washer and a nut on the end of it and then it holds something together. Uh, Mrs. 
Is there a volunteer to read? Mr. Jones has a bolt of cloth that is six yards long. He wants to divide it into five equal pieces. How long must each piece be? Give your answer as a mixed number or a decimal. Okay, so first of all, six fifths. This is a long improper fraction. Improper fraction. We need to make it into a Mixed How do we make it into a mixed number? Um, we have to see what can um, make it equal, like two tenths, hundreds, or hundred thousand. Well, you can't you can't do that yet because this isn't a, this is still a mixed this is not a mixed number yet. How do we have to make how do we make it into a mixed number? Divide. Yeah. Six divided by five. Five goes into six. Once. One times five. Six minus five. One. What do we do with this one? Put it on the top and then put five on the bottom. So one and one fifth. Remember, they said A says put our answer as a mixed number, and then B is a decimal. So this we could say one and one fifth. What's our label? Uh, Bolt. 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 No, nope. look Bolt. at the look at the question. Says how long must each be? Is bolt a length? No, long, 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 long. What long? Yard, yard, yard. Is that what it's in yards? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's in yards. So one and one fifth yards. That's a mixed number. How do we turn that into a, a decimal? Uh, uh. You have to times by two. Two over two. Five times two. Who goes on the top then? One times two. two. So one and two tenths becomes what? One, 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 one tenth. tenth. One and two tenths. One and two tenths. Label? Yard. Um, All right, that's it.